Every good superhero needs a villain who is just as memorable, and oftentimes writers don't look much farther than the hero's immediate family. Those family bonds don't always make the jump from comic books to blockbuster films, but these days, even casual comic fans will be shocked to learn that even the most heroic superheroes have a villain in their family tree. Here are 10 superheroes you didn't know were related to villains. Aquaman and Ocean Master Everyone knows Aquaman, the half-human, half-Atlantean king, but his arch-enemy Ocean Master doesn't get the same amount of fame. His origin has changed over the years, but whether it's the fully human brother of Aquaman building a helmet to let him breathe underwater and rule Atlantis, or the fully Atlantean brother ruling with Aquaman's permission, they may be the most complicated brothers in DC's universe. Cyclops and Vulcan the leader of the X-Men, Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, is a household name, and thanks to the modern X-Men movies, so is his brother Alex, aka Havoc. But it's the third Summers brother, Gabriel, who is the real powerhouse. Able to manipulate all forms of energy and ruling an alien race as Emperor, his villain alter ego Vulcan is one of the most powerful mutants in the X-Men universe. Professor X and Juggernaut The helmeted, hulking Juggernaut is hard to forget, but most X-Men fans would never guess that he's actually Professor X's brother. Stepbrother, to be exact. Juggernaut actually made his debut in just the 12th issue of the X-Men, where Charles Xavier explained their childhood, when their parents married after Xavier's father was killed in a lab accident. Kind of poetic, though. One got the brains, and the other got the brawn. We'll continue this tomorrow. Class dismissed. That's enough. Let him go. I'm leaving. I can't let you. Scarlet Witch and Magneto. She's been a comic book mainstay of the Avengers for years, but Marvel's movie universe brought Scarlet Witch and her brother Quicksilver to the attention of the entire world. Due to studio rights issues, Marvel needed to rewrite their origins. In the original comics, they weren't test subjects, but rather mutants. Mutants who got their genetic gifts from their father, Magneto, the X-Men's most famous villain. So if Fox and Disney ever cross over their franchises, things are gonna get awkward. Supergirl and Cyborg Superman Classic comic book fans know the Cyborg Superman as Hank Henshaw, but the character got a new origin in DC's New 52 universe, as the father of Supergirl, aka Kara Zor-El. It turns out her father didn't die on Krypton, but wound up being rescued by Brainiac, if you can call being turned into a half-robot killing machine a rescue. Still, Superman's powers and an arm that can transform into nearly anything are more of a gift than a curse. My family tried to kill me, you pathetic meat sack. Nightcrawler and Mystique Nightcrawler may be best known for his blue skin and teleporting, but his parents are the real bombshell. It's a twist movie fans can enjoy too, since his mother Mystique and father Azazel both showed up in X-Men First Class. The movie stopped short of confirming the pair would produce a son, but it hasn't been a secret in the comics for years. Batman and Lincoln March the New 52 dropped a huge twist on Bruce Wayne, when a mystery man arrived in the costume of Court of Owls, bearing a serious grudge. The man called himself Lincoln March, but claimed Martha Wayne had been pregnant with a second son born prematurely. When the Waynes died, Thomas Wayne Jr. was lost to the system. Lincoln was defeated, but Batman was unable to tell if it was all a madman's story or the truth, since his parents did give him a brother who died hours later, officially. Superboy and Lex Luthor. The Man of Steel and his archenemy aren't known for building things together, but Superboy is the exception. While originally introduced as a clone designed to look like Superman, later comics would reveal that Con L, the clone Superboy, was actually a hybrid. Scientists couldn't clone Kryptonian DNA, so they blended Superman's with, you guessed it, Lex Luthor. Superboy and Lex would fight eventually, making it a seriously weird case of the son rebelling against the father. One of the fathers, anyway. <laughs> Batgirl and Jim Gordon Jr. Commissioner Gordon became an integral part of the Batman family when his daughter Barbara became Batgirl. But Jim Gordon's other child, James Gordon Jr., is just as important, since he turned out to be as villainous as Barbara is a hero. Growing into a serial killer and trying to poison all of Gotham's newborns, James wound up in prison, and eventually even a member of DC's Suicide Squad. The Flash and Cobalt Blue the last thing Barry Allen needs is more tragedy, but the night he was born, he was actually one of two identical twin boys. When a drunk doctor failed to deliver another baby alive, he swapped Barry's twin out so neither couple left empty-handed. That twin would grow up to be Malcolm Thon, the villain known as Cobalt Blue. Wally West ended up defeating him, but it was Malcolm Thon's descendant Eobard that would take his revenge on Barry, centuries into the future. Those are the cases of superheroes and villains sharing a family link that we could find. Very nice.
But which ones have we missed? Let us know in the comments, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.